KATV River Market Studio in downtown Little Rock. This is Channel 7 Good Afternoon Arkansas with Alicia Dover, Ansley Watson, and meteorologist Todd Yacobian. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday. So glad you're kicking off your weekend with us today. We've got a fun show for you and some awesome guests. Let's introduce them. Hey, guys. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Thanks for being here today. Absolutely. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, glad to have you both here. Well, certain situations can cause anxiety at times. One, yeah. going on live TV, right? That can cause a little bit of that anxiety. That can give you yeah. some anxiety. Not yeah. for you two, though. Yeah. Dr. Charles Shambly with Baptist Health Behavioral Clinic is here to talk about how to handle anxiety. There are lots, like you just said, lots of anxiety causing situations. Yeah. But there are some good principles that can help us keep that to a minimum. It's not gonna, you're never gonna get rid of all anxiety. Yeah. But being able to control it and bring it under control when it spikes is something that's useful for everybody. Yeah, it can feel like you're spir spiraling out of control if you don't get control of it. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. All right, looking forward to talking to you about that. Dr. Charles Shampley is here now with some advice on how to overcome anxiety. Dr. Shampley, glad you're talking about this today. I tend to kind of have some anxiety. Um, and I think one of those reasons was when you were mentioning was being hard on yourself. Yeah. And, and I tend to do that. There's a lot of people out there that do, don't, don't they? Yeah, a lot of folks that think we're the only, I'm the only person that ever makes this mistake. Yeah. Nobody would ever do this. That's silly. I'm, I must be stupid. And that's <laughs> not the case. Um, everybody makes mistakes. And one of those steps of getting rid of anxiety is to recognize you're not perfect. You're not right. designed to be perfect. You you're designed <laughs> to learn from failures and then to do better as you go on, yeah. but not to be perfect from the outset. Absolutely. Now you've got some tips for overcoming anxiety. I did. And I'm trying to use the word calm because yeah. that's what everybody's looking for when they have anxiety. And so the first thing is to create some peace in your life. Mm -hmm. Create areas of peace. If there's something that helps bring you calm, that helps relax you, give you um, a, a sense of calm, then, yeah. then allow that to be somewhere where you can retreat to. There was a study done several years ago asking about how much time people had in quiet during a day in the yeah. average American life, and it was less than five minutes. I can believe that. There's so much chaos going on in our world, so yeah. many anxiety-causing things. Find somewhere that you can bring some peace to you, whether that's a special area in your home, right. whether that's a park that you go to, whether it's just go and sit in your car. Maybe huh. it's not even a yeah. place, but maybe it's doing something that helps bring calm and peace to your life. Right. Know that about yourself and then utilize that as you need to do it. Would some of those things be like yoga, meditation, Absolutely. things Absolutely. like that? Absolutely. Yeah. Being, being able to find something that can bring that calm, be it exercise or yoga. Right. People who do exercise oftentimes experience lower cases of anxiety. Mm -hmm. That's one of the number one things that can help with that. All right, let's talk about the next one. Yeah, the second thing that we talked about is, is like <laughs> you said, jumped that one, allowing but yeah. for mistakes. Right. Uh, know that you're not going to be perfect. People have such high expectations of themselves, especially those that suffer from clinic clinical anxiety, mm -hmm. they tend to expect that they are supposed to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And that's just not realistic. Right. And so allow yourself to do that. Be self-forgiving. Allow others in your life who are close to you to remind you to be self-forgiving and know that you are not supposed to always be perfect. So whether that is you that's doing that or somebody that's reminding you of that, allow yourself to make some mistakes. Definitely. Thirdly, listen to your body, and that is so very important. Yeah. Know what your body is saying to you. Are you tired all the time? Are you not getting enough sleep? Mm -hmm. That can make you more anxious. Are you... Um, eating things that are causing your body difficulty, that's right. going to make you anxious. Yeah. Are you a new mother and having mm -hmm. that, uh, <laughs> that stress on your body all the time because you now feel responsible for another person in this world? Yeah. Allow that to be something that you listen to your body and make sure that you take those proper steps. And if you're doing all those and you're still not experiencing the, the calm and the anxiety relief that you need, mm -hmm. then talk to your doctor. There is medicine that can help with that. But I always tell folks, don't take that pill, don't take that medicine and think that everything's going to magically be better. You've got to take some of the other steps for that medicine to then be finally effective for you. All right, some wonderful tips there. Thank you so much for talking Absolutely. about that. And you can contact Dr. Shambly by email, which is crshambly at practice-plus.com. You can also give him a call at the number there on your screen.
All right, okay, I'm going to bring Josh, Dr. Shabley, come on in. You guys, all right, what do you want? Which which one I want do you want? The would, catfish. The There's catfish. No doubt about that. Of course go you for do. It. There That's you go. Dig in. Boring. Josh, what do, what do you want oh, I'm here? I'm sorry, sir. Let me go, go ahead. ahead. What do you uh, want, Josh? Let me try the chicken. I'll try okay, the chicken. here you go. And there's mac and cheese. Look at that. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh, yes. it looks so good. I'm going to dig in. Mm. Jeffrey, I can die happy. Right? Awesome. Awesome. Oh, my oh. goodness. That peace. Is See, that brings peace to you. It is it's no, incredible. There you go. Yeah, I mean, this relieves anxiety. Peace. This brings peace <laughs> right, to my right. soul. Right, right, exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Very come good. down and come see us. Well, ladies, it's typical for us to get flowers on Valentine's Day, but it's often tough to find a comparable way to show love to the men. Well, today I'm making a Valentine's bouquet, and Dr. Shambly, you're going to show me, uh, or I'm going to show you, rather. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to show me, right? No. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you how to do this. So, okay. really cool. All you take is a little beer mug, right? Yep. I got all of this stuff, by the way, at Dollar Tree. Wow. Yes. That makes it very right? cost efficient. It does. It's very, very cheap, including this cool paper that you can find. It's like a plastic wrapping paper. Okay. So I took a floral foam and just trimmed it to fit into the glass. Okay. And what we're going to do is wrap it in the paper. And then I'm going to need your help okay. shoving it down into the beer glass. Okay. So you stick it. it all the way down. There you go. There you go. Not bad. Good job. Thank good you, job. Thank you. Yes. I'm a good student. Right, you are. And of course, you know, you can kind of trim this up a little bit if you've got too much of it okay. here, but that's we'll work with it for now. Okay, so what else I've done is I've taken other items that would be great for a man gift, right? Like for instance, my husband likes bow ties. Absolutely. So I've attached one of those and I've used these are just called floral wooden picks. And this is the only thing that I did not get at the Dollar Tree. I had to get it at Hobby Lobby. Okay. And it's a metal, it's got metal at the top wrapped around a wooden pick. Okay. And so that allows you to wrap it around whatever sure. you have. So like a little bow tie, for instance, wraps right around okay. or whatever else you're doing. You can also use hot glue too if you don't want to find these. But again, that's the only thing that um, I couldn't find at the Dollar Tree. So we're also going to make these and these are our filler. Right. So it's like the roses in the bouquet. So again, really easy. You just take the little stick here okay. and bunch that up kind of at the bottom. There okay. you go. Sort of pull it up like that. Got it. There you go. I'm going to take one as well. And then you just simply set your little piece of paper around it and then start twisting. Okay. Yep. And then it's going to make a little flower. You do pretty good. Are I'm you, learning from are the you best. crafty? <laughs> I do some odds and ends around the house. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm crafty. But. Crafty necessarily. Yeah, so that'll be like our filler whenever um, okay. we're done with our bouquet. And you can kind of fill these in. So I'm going to have you actually continue okay. to make a few of these. You if got you it. Can. There's the paper cut up right there. Okay. So what I like to do, my best advice on these, is to look at the height of everything. So you start tall and kind of work your way down smaller. So I, again, a little balloon that I got at the Dollar Tree, that's gonna be my tallest point. And then I've got something in the front to anchor it, just a, a little <laughs> spirit, you know, for the man. You up. Yes. So in that one, I had to do two stakes on the back and hot glue, so it's pretty stable. And that just goes right in the front to anchor down. And then as you can see, we have other areas that we need to fill in. So I'm going to go ahead and put the little bow tie. I think that might look kind of cute down in the front. Absolutely. Yeah. So you can put well that down designed. in the front. And of course, you can include whatever you think that mm. a guy might like. Chocolate is always right? something Chocolate guys like. Chocolate would be cute, would be good for a guy. And then, of course, cigars, right? Absolutely. Who doesn't love that? So. You can stick those in as well. And again, everything is just staked in. Go ahead. Okay. Stick it in wherever you'd like. Ah, look at that. You did pretty good. And then you start filling it in with your other little roses. And you can add all kinds of chocolate candies look and at that. everything else. Yeah, isn't that great? Wonderful. It really designed. just comes together. And again, like I said, think about the height and you can start tall and kind of work your way down. And it should end up looking a little something like that. Would you like this? Absolutely. Yeah. That's incredible. Right? Not a bad bouquet gift for your man. And of course, you can fill it with whatever you want. Tools, anything. Little things like that. Absolutely. Well All designed. Right. Thanks a lot.